This model by TWH is very well packed and it comes in an outer cardboard shipping box. And inside is a Drake branded box which is wrapped in soft paper. With the paper gone you can then see that the Drake box is fairly plain, but that just encourages you to open it up and see what's inside. The first impression is very good because there's a good amount of documentation with the model. The first part is a nice glossy reprint of the Kenworth K200 brochure. And it's well worthwhile having because it's got some good information and photos about the real truck. Next is a double sided printed card of the features and functions of the model. But it is specifically only the Drake trailer. Lastly there's another reprint of a brochure and it covers the Drake swing wing trailer. It's not particularly technical but it's well worth having. The last item in the bag is a plastic pointer tool. The two trays are factory sealed so it's best to use a sharp knife to separate them and then you can lift the lid and the various parts of the model are packed inside. There are a couple of items of detailing to add to the Kenworth K200 and we start off with adding mirrors to the cab doors. These are nicely made parts because they are metal and they have silvered surfaces. And they're also a decent tight fit into the holes on the cab so they stay in place once you fix them. There's one other part to fit and that's an oversized plate and that clips onto the bumper at the front. Maybe an oversized plate is something you'd like for your own bumper. That completes the Kenworth so now we can add the rest of the trailer and we start with the 2x8 dolly. It's best to start by adding the airlines from the prime mover and they plug into the front of the dolly. It's a little bit fiddly and needs a bit of patience but once it's done you can clip the kingpin of the dolly into the fifth wheel on the Kenworth. Next we can attach all of the spare wheels and they're not all the same. But they are individually marked so the one on the left for example is dolly front left. The spare wheels just clip onto the frame of the dolly which works they do pose there although they are easy to knock off. The other item to add is the large additional fuel tank and again that's just an easy clip in piece. Simple that is except for the cranes etc assembler who is a fail. So let's try again and see if we can do it properly this time. Uh, no it's a mega fail. So I think one more try or it's the sack for the assembler. Carefully does it, no pressure, no pressure at all. Oh for Christ's sake will you get it done? Finally it simply clips into place. The last part of the assembly is to attach the trailer to the dolly and it's just a repeat of the earlier process with four more spare wheels to add. Once they're in place that completes the assembly of the model and the rig is ready to roll. For the detail we'll start with the Kenworth and the chassis is very detailed and the tyre treads are different front and rear. One particularly nice touch is that all of the mud flaps are flexible. The roof detailing is very good with lights and horns but there are no aerials. TWH trucks usually have excellent chrome work and this one is no exception. And this particular one is in the Drake company livery which looks very smart. Detail behind the cab is also excellent with airlines, non-slip surfaces and a finely crafted exhaust. Under the cab there's a very detailed engine with many different components. The excellent detail continues inside the cab with graphics on the instrument console. The dolly is also highly detailed with various tanks modelled. The wheel arches also have a lot of detail and there's a mass of airlines. There's an excellent Drake nameplate on the side and the fuel tank and spare wheels look great. It's worth having a separate look at the spare wheels because they are intricately modelled. There's a locking chain which secures the wheels in position. And when you remove that there's also a locking bar which clips onto the back of the wheel holder. And by giving that a twist you can then unlock it and pull it through. And when you do that then the spare wheels are all individually free. So nice functionality on a very small part. The swing wing trailer also has the same high level of detailing and the metal structure is nicely reproduced. Again it also has nice rubber mud flaps on each of the wheels. Just like on the dolly there are drop down legs complete with securing chains. At the rear the ramps are embellished with sign plates and there's a dummy number plate for this generic model. The swing wing deck is entirely metal with a smooth finish and discrete friction rivets have been used. A particularly good detail is the controls for the deck with the tiny legible graphics. <music> T 
TWH Collectibles was established in 2004 to produce museum class replicas. Since then it produced a succession of very high quality models. However, in later years it was not commercially successful and in June 2013 it ceased trading. Although the fate of its model program is not clear, Drake Trailers owns all of its own tooling so should be unaffected. On to the Cranes Etc Superhighway and the Kenworth is a smooth roller in a straight line. And the common rear axles are certainly free spinning. There is steering on the front axle although it is notched rather than smooth. The range of movement is not great and the wheels tend to straighten up when the truck is pushed. But at least it can be posed turning. A very successful feature is the suspension which is fully sprung on each of the axles. And it's got a good range of movement and works well. Another good feature is the tipping cab which tilts forward to a good angle and can stay in a posed position. And it gives full visibility of the very detailed engine that TWH has modelled. The cab features opening doors and that's why you really need the plastic pointer because the fit of the doors is so good they are actually quite hard to open. They don't swing open very wide but it's good enough to give an interesting pose. In addition to the detail there's another interesting feature inside. The seats inside have an air ride function so the passengers get a smooth ride as the truck bumps along over your living room carpet. Behind the cab the functionality of the fifth wheel is nicely implemented with a proper locking clip to secure the kingpin. The plate rotates forwards and backwards and also is adjustable in position longitudinally, although it does have quite a stiff mechanism. The dolly also rolls along smoothly with all of the wheels grounded. One of the interesting features of the dolly is that the axle groups can be widened. They are mounted on a sliding mechanism and they just pull out. They are also good because there's a high degree of oscillation on each of the axle units. So they rotate forwards and backwards and side to side for going over rough terrain. One feature that both the dolly and the swing wing trailer share is the working drop down legs. They come complete with a locking pin secured on the end of a chain. And when you drop down the legs you can secure them in a lowered position by reinserting the pin through the holes that have been modelled. It's a nice little detail and the only thing you need to avoid is the chains hanging down touching the ground. The dolly also features a fully functioning fifth wheel. And it's a nicer mechanism because the longitudinal movement is much smoother. Just like the Kenworth it's got a spring loaded locking clip for the kingpin. The gooseneck of the dolly has another nice bit of flexibility which is that the kingpin can be located in one of two positions just by unscrewing it. And screwing it back in the alternative position. Finally we get onto the swing wing trailer and it rolls along just fine. And it also has fully working independent suspension on each of the three axles. There are two adjustable drop down legs at the front of the trailer and there's also a third in the middle of the trailer. At the front the gooseneck has three possible positions for the kingpin. At the rear the loading ramps are secured in position by chains which clip into the edge of the deck and they're controlled by hydraulic rams and lower smoothly. However the most interesting thing about the trailer is the swing wing mechanism. On the real trailer it's controlled by hydraulic rams and it opens up to give the trailer extra width. The width is variable and it's got pinning positions to lock it into place. The pins are inserted at the front just by the gooseneck and a couple are provided for the purpose. One other feature on the trailer is the control console which is absolutely tiny but it's got working levers. Each lever has got a painted knob on the end so if you're the kind of person that likes raising and lowering knobs this is for you. When the model's fully set up it's quite large it's about 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. And fully widened, the trailer's about 9cm or 3.5 inches wide. Let's now do a genuine imitation real life test and we'll load a Volvo A40 dump truck. This one has been fitted with the patented giant auto hand steering system. And with that fitted the Volvo is able to comfortably drive itself onto the widened swing wing deck. Then it's up ramps and away. This is certainly a very high quality truck and trailer model from TWH Collectibles. The level of detailing is very high. And there are plenty of working features to make the model interesting. It's well presented and looks really good in the corporate colours of Drake trailers. It's an outstanding model. Music